All right, here is lesson five, reading list explained. So basically you, if you did all your readings last week, you're ahead of the game. Uh, if you didn't get a chance to look particularly at this one last week, for whatever reason, the model shared guided independent reading, I would have a look at this resource. Um, it's a good resource to just again, flesh out those concepts. And it's another, it's another one that should go on your ePortfolio for sure. I think you probably uh, have a pretty good idea of these guys now. If you really want to look at some comprehension strategies, you're of course welcome to look at this one. Uh, uh, but I understand your uh, time crunch here. I did jump in to lesson six a little bit. Um, so if the only res the only um, reading resource that I would, if you're interested in reading from lesson six is this one here, the Alberta Education Differentiation Document. I actually allude to it quite a bit in the lesson and it's an excellent document. It is probably one of the best, I said this in the lecture, it's probably one of the best documents that I've seen around really kind of um, demystifying this concept of differentiation. So if you have a chance, look through it, listen to the lecture, look at the particular pages that I've given you in the lecture to look at. Um, and, uh, and then that the rest of the rest of this on your reading list, then we will for sure look at in um, these guys, we will look at in lesson six for sure. And again, these are some excellent resources that we will have a dive into and that should go on your ePortfolio. Just saying. All right. Take care, everybody.